Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about what not to forget to pack, bring, buy for your first apartment or dorm. I've done videos about the essentials for apartments and for dorms. I wanted to compile a list of things that are often forgotten, looked over, the little things that when you move into your apartment, you're like, oh, I forgot about that. That is exactly what this video is. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I'm doing a ton of back to school and college videos, so I hope that I can help you guys out if you're moving into college. Even if you've been in college forever and you're going to be a senior, you're like me, I still hope this video is super helpful for you guys. I will also link all these products in the description for you guys. If you forgot them, you're like, oh my god, I need that. Just a quick little link. Click buy, bam. I'm going to break them into sections by room just to make it a little bit easier for you guys. So let's start off with the kitchen because that is the number one thing that you'll be buying the most stuff for. If you're moving into an apartment and you've lived in a dorm already, you probably have a few things, but not a ton. First thing that gets overlooked so often is dish towels. My grandma literally bought me dish towels because we forgot about them. You're probably gonna want a few of those. Oven mitts are also another thing that get looked over so easily. My my grandma also bought me oven mitts because I forgot about those. Thank you, grandma. A dish drying rack is also another thing. This is kind of optional. My roommates bought this and they really like having it. I feel like I could personally live without it and just dry a dish using a dish towel, but they really like having it. So it's not essential and you can definitely save some money if you don't want to buy it. But if you do want one, it's a great option. Measuring cups and measuring spoons. I recommend finding ones that are connected by like that little hoop. It just makes them easier to store and easier to find. Tupperware. You're also going to need Tupperware. A lot of Tupperware sets come with like a bunch of little ones that you can like salad dressing or like nuts or something small in those. I don't think you need those. I think it wastes a lot of space if you live with roommates. It will take up a lot of kitchen space. Kitchens and apartments, especially if you're sharing them with a lot of people, there's not a ton of storage. So I recommend finding good Tupperware. I normally just use like the medium Tupperware, not the super big ones, not the super small ones. So if you find a pack that's just like medium Tupperware, that's perfect. Maybe a few big ones, maybe a few small ones, but the ones that come with like a million little teeny ones, you know what I'm talking about. You don't need those. You might need a can opener. I personally never use a can opener in my apartment but my roommates have if you eat out of cans often maybe get one of those another thing is a meat thermometer one of my roommates was very insistent on getting a meat thermometer and the rest of us were like we don't need that i've ended up actually using it quite a few times it's definitely not a necessity it's something that does come in handy we actually had like a friend's giving and it came in handy we made a big chicken instead of a turkey because it was easier you're also probably gonna want like a peeler like a cucumber peeler a lot of these things come in sets so if you can find a set with like a peeler a rubber spatula a turn or things like that that is amazing jump on that i'll link some down below for you guys actually you're also going to want a paper towel holder i feel like that's something that very easily gets overlooked you'll also want a trash can you're probably going to want a trash can for every room and bathroom and then the big trash can will go in the kitchen trash bags and a recycling bin you're also going to want like a little dish scrubber and then a cup to put your dish scrubber in some people use sponges i think that sponges are like really unlike hygienic and like carry a lot of bacteria so i like a dish scrubber but it's really up to you i also recommend getting cutting boards i learned a trash not to buy wooden cutting board from you guys actually let's say you're cutting up chicken or salmon or something with raw juices any kind of raw meat the juices can go into like the little cracks and divots of the wood and it can get stuck in there which foodborne illness try to get like some kind of plastic cutting board i'd also recommend getting a strainer or a colander if let's say you're making pasta another thing that you're only going to need the medium size of is mixing bowls mixing bowls tend to come in big packs where there's like the teeny tiny ones and then they get bigger and bigger and then they get huge just from my experience having a small apartment kitchen the big ones take up a lot of space even though you could stack them most people end up using the medium ones and the small ones don't really get much use if you can find a set of medium mixing bowls jump on that as well let's talk about the bathroom you're obviously going to want like a toilet scrubber and plunger i actually bought a set online that was like a toothbrush holder a this a that blah 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 i don't know it was just like a bunch of things that you'll probably need just all in one from amazon so if i can find it i'll link it down below you're probably gonna want some like air freshener like poopery or even for breeze something like that Hand soap I find often gets overlooked you're so excited you're like oh what kind of shower curtain do I want and then you're like oh yeah I need to wash my hands another thing for your shower you're going to want shower rings and a shower liner not just the shower curtain I remember last minute I was like oh yeah I need to hang up my shower curtain so definitely don't forget those just get cheap ones you don't need super expensive ones for those I think I got my shower liner for like two dollars and my shower hooks for a dollar for your closet an ironing board iron and steamer are kind of iffy only get them if you think you'll use it if you never iron or steam your clothes when you're at your parents house you're probably not gonna do it in your apartment I remember everyone was like you need 
a steamer for my dorm. I bought one, never used it. I actually ended up breaking it because it fell off my closet. I used it one time to steam my face because I was trying to do a face mask. That was the only time I ever used it. If people are telling you, even me, buy this and you have it at home and you never use it, don't buy it, don't bring it. Another thing that you can buy is a drying rack. My roommate has one. She uses it all the time. I personally never use a drying rack. It's just personal preference. I just use the dryer. If you think you'll use one, definitely get one. I recommend getting a foldable one. She has one that you can just like fold up. I'm sure all drying racks actually fold up, but getting one that folds up saves a ton of space when you're not using it. So if you think you'll use a drying rack, get one. If you don't think you'll use it, then don't get one. Hangers, duh. Any kind of organizers. This could be literally anything. It could be an extra dresser. It could be cubes. It could be an ottoman. It could be this. It could be that. I also recommend getting organizers. There are sets on Amazon or Ikea that organizes stuff in your drawers. I find that saves a ton of space. I love using those for like my bras, underwear, socks. I feel like that's where I use them the most. They're super helpful. I will link them down below. Like I'm linking everything I'm talking about. They really help maximize your space and they look so cute. And then I also recommend getting a shoe organizer. There's so many different ways of getting shoe organizers. You get one thing like behind the door or like one of those hanging things for your closet. You can get baskets or like bins. I have a cute little basket by my door or you can get like those structured bins. You can put shoes like an ottoman that has storage in them, shoe storage. You could even display your shoes on a shelf. Think about where you're going to put your shoes and that will really help you in the long run. The next category is extras and cleaning supplies. First thing that I really think that you're going to need is a toolkit. I talk about this all the time. You need a toolkit. Just get one that's like pre-made from Amazon or really even anywhere. But I use this all the time when you're building stuff for your apartment. You get something new. I don't know. I feel like you need a toolkit all the time. The two main things that I feel like you need in a toolkit are measuring tape and a level. Obviously there's like a screwdriver and a hammer and all that. You need that too. But I find that my measuring tape and level are the things that I use the most because I also do use command hooks, command tape, and those things are really helpful. And measuring tape and level really help hanging those. Really good ones on Amazon. I keep saying Amazon. I'm so sorry if you don't shop on Amazon. Also batteries. I like to put those in my toolbox. I talk about this all the time as well. You're probably going to want light bulbs not only to put in your lamps, but just some extra ones in case they burn out for the ceiling or something like that. You also probably will want a step stool. We have one for the kitchen because our cabinets are so much taller than we are that we cannot reach them without a step stool. We have a little foldable one that we can just put in the corner when we're not using it. Obviously, you're going to want a first aid kit with like band-aids and like antibacterial stuff, scissors and tape. I always get fabric scissors because those are like the sharpest scissors ever and they are the best ones. They have a really good three pack at Costco. Like I already briefly talked about command hooks and tape. If you want to get your deposit back instead of nailing things into a wall, that's a really great tip. I've heard that you can put blue painter's tape behind your command tape and that way it doesn't take the paint off when you're peeling them away. I'm not sure how well that would stay, but I've heard that. I'll probably try it out and let you guys know how it works. You're also going to want a variety of medicine, whether it's like allergy, pain relief, headache, runny nose. I don't know. That's probably the same stuff. A couple few staple medicine over-the-counter drugs. Definitely a good idea. I also recommend getting some extension cords. You get a pack of multiple. They're super helpful. There's not a ton of outlets in apartments, especially if yours was built a long time ago like mine was. You're also probably going to want some type of mirror. I have my makeup mirrors and then I like, I don't know, I, especially like my makeup mirror. That's something that I feel like can be looked over really easily. They make your room look so much bigger and they're really helpful for when you're getting ready. I have a mirror for my desk and then I also have like a little makeup mirror. Those are really amazing for getting ready. I also recommend getting some extra blankets, preferably fuzzy because they're like so soft. My apartment's always freezing. It also makes it feel super homey and it's nice if you have guests over. You're also probably going to want a vacuum. I have a Dyson one that I got refurbished on Amazon. I've talked about this before. I feel like a vacuum is something that gets overlooked. People think about it and they're like, oh, okay, whatever. I remember I thought about it and I was like, nah, I'll just pick things up with my hands. No, you definitely need a vacuum if you can find a refurbished one or a used one that still works. Definitely get it. The one that I have, I totally recommend. Everyone loves it. You're also going to want some cleaning supplies. I talk about this all the time, like a multi-purpose, a Clorox wipe, some glass cleaner, granite countertop cleaner. It depends on what you have. You're also probably going to want a dust whether it's like a Swiffer or an actual duster. The vents in apartments are literally horrible. They don't filter anything. They change out the filters so often, but yet the filters don't work. There's like piles of dust. I could dust 30 minutes later. There's a thick pile of dust on my nightstand and I'm like, huh? I definitely recommend getting a good quality duster because you're definitely going to need it. Those are some things you might have forgotten to get for your apartment or dorm. Don't forget to check out my dorm and apartment essential videos. I will link them down below. So many links in the description, but I hope this video really helped. If there's anything that I I forgot to mention definitely comment it down below to help everyone out i love hearing your guys's essentials don't forget to subscribe for some back to school and college content i love you guys so 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 much and i'll see you in my next video bye